am Sanskar of class 12th and I am from DV. So today uh, we will uh, discuss about lymphatic system. Lymphatic system is broadly classified into two, lymphoid organ and lymphoid tissue. Lymphoid organ is further classified into primary lymphoid organs and secondary lymphoid organs. Primary lymphoid organ constitutes bone marrow and thymus. Secondary lymphoid organ constitutes spleen, lymph nodes, pierced patches of small intestine, tonsils and appendix. So now come to lymphoid organ. Lymphoid organ are those organs which are responsible for the production, maturation and proliferation of lymphocytes. Proliferation means increase in number. So now come primary lymphoid organs. These are the lymphoid organs which are responsible for the maturation and production and converting it from the immature lymphocyte into antigen sensitive lymphocyte. Now come to bone marrow. Bone marrow is the main lymphoid organ which comes in a primary lymphoid organ and where all blood cells including lymphocytes are produced. Now come to thymus. So here we can observe the thymus. So thymus is the lobed organ situated near the heart beneath the breastbone. Breastbone is our sternum. During the birth it has its maximum size and uh, with the increase in age the size of the thymus also reduces and uh, during the time of puberty it reduces to a very small size and it activates T cells which further activates B lymphocytes. So that was important point I want to share with you. That is both the bone marrow and thymus provide micro environment. Micro environment means the small small sites for the development of the mature and maturation of the T lymphocytes. Now come to secondary lymphoid organs. These are organs which provide sites for the interaction um, of the matured lymphocyte, that is antigen sensitive lymphocytes with the antigen which then further proliferate and becomes effector cell. Now come to spleen. Spleen is a large bean shaped organ and present uh, in the upper left part of the belly just below the abdomen and uh, it, uh, it has a, it, it is an erythrocyte reservoir and also it contains uh, phagocytes and uh, lymphocytes. And it also known as filter of blood. Filter of blood because uh, it traps the pathogen, uh, blood bond pathogen actually. So now come to lymph nodes. So here we can observe the prominent uh, black dots. These are the lymph nodes. So lymph nodes are the small solid structures located at the different point along the lymphatic system and function. It traps the microorganisms and antigen produced by the pathogens uh, which are supposed to enter to the lymph and also to the tissue fluid. Now come to pears patches in small intestine, location small intestine, mainly in the ileum region and prevent the pathogenic and bacterial growth in the small intestine. Now come to tonsil, situated at the back side of the throat and function, traps the antigen produced by the pathogen in the respiratory tract which further prevent the entry of the antigen in the respiratory system that is to our lungs. Now come to appendix. Appendix location is the large intestine and function it prevents the pathogenic and bacterial growth in the colon region of the small intestine. Now come to lymphoid tissue. Lymphoid tissue, the full form of lymphoid tissue is mucosa associated lymphoid tissue and this is present within the lining of the major tracts uh, that is the respiratory, digestive and urogenital tract. It constitutes 50% of the lymphatic tissue and it initiates the specific antigen response uh, those who are encountering with the lining of the uh, mucosal surface. So with this I would like to sign off. Thank you.